Hello, we're going to do some quick tips in playback preferences and logic. What we shall try to do first is uh, try to use as much the keyboard as possible and as less the mouse as possible too, uh, mainly because of two reasons. We want to use less muscles and we want to save up time. Every time I'm browsing, doing these long movements, I'm wasting time and also I'm adding too much pressure, let's say, or using too much some muscles that I could actually avoid. This uh, adds up at the end of the day and it may end up in injuries and also a big loss of time. Uh, if I want to browse any area which is here and I need to play it over and over and I need to use these buttons uh, all the way down below here, it, I'm obviously wasting time. So we're going to use mainly keyboard shortcuts and now for this, you might want to check how yours are defined. I'm using a Spanish keyboard shouldn't make a big uh, difference with whatever you're using because I don't have big customization here but just in case they are defined in preferences we go to preferences last item key commands in this case the ones we're going to use now are under global commands and they have to do with the play and hierarchy so pretty much would be the definition of these ones uh, you can go as complex and as specialized uh, as you want in, in um, actually setting up whatever's going to work for you what we're going to do here it's actually quite uh, simple okay the first one that uh, most likely we all shall know it's using the space bar instead of using these controls that will be our first choice using the space bar if i press it once uh, obviously logic begins to play if i play it again it stops so place stops and plays stops no big deal here i think we all know that Another um, useful key here would be um, return. This one, if uh, the project is stopped, uh, it begins, uh, sorry, it's going to place the playhead. Now this in the beginning of a project and if uh, the, the project is played, it's going to stop. So actually, if the, if the project is uh, stopped, it places the playhead at the beginning of a project in case you want to um, if you're having a, a very big arrangement and you want to listen to the whole of it, this is very useful. And if uh, Logic is playing, whenever I press the, the key return, it stops. Ah, and if I press it again, it goes back to the beginning. Now, another useful one that actually uses the mouse, but not so much in case I want to concentrate in a, in a very specific point, it's double-clicking actually in the playhead uh, area. And uh, whenever I do it, Logic begins uh, playing right away. So I'm going to double click in this area and Logic shall begin playing from this defined area. So like this, double click, Logic plays. If I do it somewhere else, Logic plays from, oh, sorry, I didn't uh, do it properly. It begins playing. That little latency that you're hearing is because some of the regions that I have here uh, are not audio, they are MIDI, so uh, it's, it's actually not a latency in logic, but it's that uh, maybe it's not a region, something which is there. 